On the site visit, we discussed the one major downside to Sam's west-facing roof, which is that there's a large chimney which will cause shading to the system. Now, we wanted to model how much of an impact this chimney would have, and whether it would be worth installing a system with microinverters or power optimizers to help combat the shading. Now, all of Spirit Energy's financial and generational modeling is done using our own custom-built software, which allows us to have full control over it and keep it as accurate and up-to-date as possible. However, in order to do the shade modeling, we loaded up a widely used program called PVSol. Every good solar installer should have an advanced piece of software that allows for complex modeling like PVSol. We use it for a lot of our residential and commercial projects and it comes with a wide range of benefits. You can run a full shade analysis as well as some very detailed performance models. Using PVSol you can accurately model for any major electrical loads at the property such as electric vehicles, heat pumps and swimming pools and you can also model things like inverter clipping, cable losses, bypass diode shade mitigation and voltage drops and even the generation increase from the reflection on the back of any bifacial panels. The modeling is also very detailed and the software runs a simulation to show the shading for every single minute of the year. You can also model for shading from trees, which was very useful for Sam's project because as well as a big chimney, Sam also has a large deciduous tree in his garden, which could potentially cause shading in the winter months when the sun is lower in the sky. In PVSol, I inputted the type of tree, which is relevant because the program even models for deciduous trees dropping their leaves in winter. And I also inputted the shape and rough dimensions of the tree as well. The PV sole showed that the tree will have a very negligible impact as it's not quite tall enough to cast a shadow onto the system. The PV sole software also shows us a heat map of the panels that will be most affected by shade so that we can optimize the stringing and make sure to put the panels that will be affected by shade on their own string so that they don't drag down the rest of the system. Now, firstly, we wanted to find out whether it was better to orient the panels in portrait or landscape. Usually the choice is clear because you'll probably be able to get a lot more panels in one orientation than another. However, Sam's roof can fit 22 panels in portrait and 22 panels in landscape. So we ran a model to see which would do a better job of mitigating shade. The results showed that in landscape, the array would have an annual yield reduction due to shading of 8.5%. However, in portrait, it would only be 7.6%. The reason for this is to do with the half cell technology and the bypass diodes that are built into the panels. We go into more detail on how we take advantage of this to maximize shade mitigation in the next video in this series. The modeling showed that when the system was installed with a standard string inverter, the chimney and tree would cause an annual yield reduction due to shading of around 7.6%. When we reran the model with N-phase microinverters, it showed that the yield reduction due to shading would be reduced to only 5.3% per year. Watch the next video to find out how we mitigated the shade using bypass diodes and why we advised Sam that N-phase wasn't actually cost effective even though it would increase the annual generation by 2.3%.